everyone. Oh, <laughs> I have this beautiful bag sitting here, which I was going to show you in a second. That's what made the noise. But oh my gosh, I think it's so fluorescent that you can't really see um, on camera. Anyway, I'll come back to it in a second. It's got a metal chain and so made this funny noise. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to come in front of the camera. It's been a long time and it's all summer vibes here and I am so ready for it. I spent two days shopping. I hardly ever shop. I don't enjoy shopping. Uh, I don't like crowded shops, so I try when I go. I, I try to go when it's nice and empty and it's particularly Zara here in UK. The fashion has been absolutely incredible. Uh, this year in my opinion for my shape especially I'm quite um, short I'm 5'2 um, there's actually a Gaga uh, Lady Gaga documentary on Netflix called 5'2 so yeah I'm quite short and petite um, I did put on quite a bit of a weight since 2020 I, think I put about 12 kilos since then so that's a lot for for my height and um, so feeling a bit curvy and for this particular shape they have so many lovely summer dresses and suddenly you know the sun comes out and you just want to wear color and you know how much I love color so that also translates into my sense of style and how I dress and um, actually today I got this dress from Zara as well. I find that it's a bit asymmetrical but do we ever expect symmetry when it comes to Zara? Things are always a bit, you know, um, kind of uh, mis misshaped which I'm okay with. I think, you know, the price that you pay for Zara, the fashion rotates really quickly and it's, it's fine but at least you will end up loving a piece uh, that is quite a statement piece uh, for a good few years I find before it really has to be thrown away <laughs> um, but yeah so things have been good here May has been incredibly busy um, as I'm filming this I think it's the 8th or 9th of June today and yeah i've just taken a bit of a break i'm just trying to recharge my batteries and trying to catch a breath and just enjoy a little bit of life you know other than working all the time and um, i'm so happy i had so many fantastic uh, feedback and uh, reviews uh, from my sunset palette that i have um, sold out twice very quickly um I already have some Kaviris for more. Uh, I was actually hoping to take a little break this for the rest of the summer. I don't do uh, my handmade watercolors during long half term, so like summer holidays. Um, A because I want to just you know focus spending time with my son, but B also when he's at home. I don't work with pigments. I take it quite sort of seriously, um, the protection and the measures that I take. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't work with pigments when he's at home for long long periods, like like a half term or holiday. And so that means until end of July, I have some time. If I find I'm working on another product now that is not a watercolor palette. So if I find time to squeeze it in then I would love to do it. When I see good reviews and when I see people saying fabulous things about my watercolor, sorry, I just realized my mic is a bit far away. Let me just bring it in. I hope the sound is better if it wasn't great before. And one second. <laughs> this is some sort of new thing. It's a orange and mango drink. Kind of feels refreshing, but I just, uh, it's got a bunch of ice in there gives you a bit of a brain freeze Ooh, if you heard that that was um, an Etsy purchase I didn't realize I left my phone on um, mm, on um, sound mm. okay so what was I saying um, yeah so if I find time to do it I'll try to do it yeah so basically I was saying that whenever I see fantastic reviews or people are really happy with the palettes then it gives me such a joy to hear it and it makes me want to create another um, palette. 
I don't know if I will be restocking this the same one or going to a new one because ideally um, I'd like to make you know new colors because I just find it so interesting working with new pigments every time I do a release but that's all just something I would need to think about so I'm not 100% sure how to respond to the queries of a restock for sunset I haven't decided yet and I don't know if it will happen this summer or um, you know then September probably is when I would start working on it so that's that um, what else oh I had an exciting happy mail come in which I um, well, so there's um, there, there's a really lovely package with really nice cookies from Switzerland. Thank you, Alexandra, if you're watching. They were delicious, um, really, really nice. And um, also some um, watercolor samples and a tube of Lucas watercolor, just little bits and pieces. But the, the main excitement came for the Karen Dash Neo Color 2, the warm colors and the cool or cold colors I can't quite remember the exact wording but there's nothing on the actual palettes to say what they are um, but they're basically these gorgeous limited edition sets and the colors have been chosen by Bea Rebe so she has curated this lovely two color palettes and they are just so so pretty I have done a little sketch already. Oh, I just saw it where it is. Guess what? My desk or my studio needs another good sorting out because it's just everything is everywhere. Um, after having the mad uh, May sale and then also, oh, by the way, my May sale is still on. I haven't um, switched it or I haven't um, closed it down. So if you still want to check out some bits and pieces, there are some uh, great discounts going on and also I think I'll probably carry on until end of June um, Yeah, I'm in no rush to to um, To stop it because I just want to get out the stuff that I have been um, stocking for quite a while and I want to have new products in um, So yeah, let me just <laughs> sorry. I'm all over the place but <sighs> has been really super busy so here is the quick um, botanical sketch that I did with the set with the warm color set and if I just hold them next to you apart from the blue the dark blue or the like a uh, ultramarine blue all the colors every single color I've used from the set and uh, if you are interested, because someone already asked me on Instagram, a couple of people actually, um, in UK I have uh, seen them um, on cult pens, if they're not sold out yet. They are limited edition, so if you really fancy a set, then just um, do get it. I was so happy to get these sets from Alexandra, because actually um, I saw an ad on Instagram and I thought they look so neat, but I haven't seen them anywhere here in UK and um, They're certainly not available on Jackson's um, And then I think Directly from Karen Dash, their online shop. You can um, purchase them there as well so um, That's that what else was I gonna say? Uh, oh yes, uh, watch out for the Chromaflow, the Durban Chromaflow new pencils, uh, the 72 set review that is either already on my channel or just coming. Um, but yeah, so as as I became uh, Durban's uh, ambassador, one of many ambassadors, um, I've been sent the set to review and um, I try to give you as much information about it as possible so you'll see all the swatches and things like that if you're interested and I think that is it really <laughs> I have to get out a couple of orders today and just try to relax it's Friday um, kind of after lunch time but I have about about an hour before I need to do the school run and that is it. <laughs> no more relaxing time for me. Um, so, you probably know 
if you have been following this channel how much I love chartreuse. So how could I say no to this delicious bag? Isn't it just gorgeous? And I thought I'll share it with you just in case you love chartreuse as well. So it's by Kurt Geiger and it's London. And inside the bag, I don't remember if they always do this inside their handbags. I've got still paper in there. So inside there, there is a nice label and I will read it out to you. So it says here, the Kensington. That's probably the bag, it's called the Kensington. And it's a really lovely area in, in London. So it says here, inspired by our city, we believe in self-expression, authenticity and distinctive design for the individual who wants to channel their true self. Design is what we do, kindness is what we are. So there you go. And I thought for those of you who are chartreuse lovers, you would probably absolutely adore it. So um, the actual leather, so it's genuine leather, I think. The actual leather is uh, like a lemon yellow, but all the details are a chartreuse color. Um, thread here is a lovely, lovely chartreuse. The metal chain and the bird's head is all uh, chartreuse. So kind of, it's not unpleasantly acidic green. It's actually really lovely. And if you put it together with uh, like jeans or white t-shirt, or white um, trousers and some, you know, some nice kind of summery top. It all works really well. Also with turquoises, it works well. So um, yeah, I mean, I love, love, love this bag. One thing I wanted to say, because it's got metal wear, uh, it's inevitable that it will scratch at some point. Um, so uh, if you wanted to fix it, <laughs> I have something. So, here is a pen I would recommend buying if you don't have, but if you are an art lover, chances are you probably already have this one because I did feature it in my previous um, hauls and favorites, I think. So this is a neon yellow fluorescent. Um, it's an acrylic paint pen and it's by Molotov. So this is the exact matching color to the metalware and if you had a little bit of damage somewhere and you wanted to cover up this would be a perfect companion to do that with so you see um fashion and art goes hand in hand right so i think on that bubbly note i will say again thank you to all of you who ordered my watercolors uh, to everyone who's been ordering all of my stamp sets and still till this day they're still being sold so nicely so uh yes there is like i said there's something new i'm working on um which probably oh i have been asked quite a few times about the restock for a theory set um color theory set and the swatch joy sets the um clear stamp sets and there will be a restock because the demand is still high and i'm planning a restock in the beginning of July, hopefully, depending on what the dates um, are um, with manufacturing the product. So there you go. But I will update you on those uh, as I know more. And that is it for now. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope I could bring a little bit of sunshine to you. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.